Hi guys, my name is Lana. I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the Northwest Quads today. Um, I'm a CA this summer behind you. We have Henry. So let me see if I can move this around. It's always a little bit hard. Does it look good? <laughs> oh, wait, there we go. All right, perfect. Hey y'all, I'm Henry. I'm the cameraman for today. I'll be monitoring the chat uh, and looking at any questions you have. So um, be sure to ask us any questions you have and I'll be sure to ask Alana about them. Um, also let us know uh, uh, where you're tuning in from, like city and state. But what's up first? All right, thank you for that, Henry. So first I'm just gonna point out what's around here. So we have Gatewood, Harding, Clark, and Morgan. We mm -hmm. would be outside today, but temperatures are really hot and we are human. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna stick to the inside today. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions about those, let me know. Gotcha. Uh, if you follow me over here, this mm -hmm. is going to be your hangout space pretty much all school year, whether you're in any of those quads buildings, mm -hmm. uh, just because they have things like a pool table, ping pong, TVs, couches, it's a great place to just hang, like meet up with friends if you guys are heading to the dining hall, mm -hmm. things like that. So this is going to be our greater space area. Yeah. So what building are we in right now? Right now we're in Morgan Hall. Gotcha. All right. All right. And these are our lovely ladies at the front desk. If you want to give them a wave. Hello. They're going to help you guys out with things like packaging, mm -hmm. mails, general questions. Gotcha. And we just, oh, sorry. We just had a question about what building this is and this is Morgan Hall. This Sorry, is, yeah. continue. These are your mailboxes. Uh, all your mailbox information is currently going to be on your student housing portal. Mm -hmm. um, so if you just go under my details, it'll tell you your mailbox number and the pin to get into it. Gotcha. All right, and now I believe we'll say, are we saying hi to Siri? All right. Hi. Say hello to Eric. Just gonna come in and say hi to Eric real quick. He's like. Eric's our whole admin for the dorm. He's like, oh, hello. How y'all doing? Doing all right. Eric, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what you do for the Northwest Quad? So I oversee most of the operations of the building. I work with the RAs on like the programming that they put together, um, on helping with resources for the residents who may be needing some resources. Um, just generally here, making sure the building is running. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> sounds good. Will you all let us know if you have any questions for Eric or about the quad and quad and he'll be sure to answer them. But all right. What's up next? All right, next I'm gonna show you guys kind of the walk to Fulbright and explain some things. So right now these posters are a little bare, but during the school year you're gonna have things like student events hung up there. One time there was like just a bunch of dad jokes up, mm -hmm. as well as right on top there would be signs that hang out with just questions, things that's going on, mm -hmm. just things that are genuinely entertaining. Gotcha. Um, what we're passing right now is Fulbright Dining Hall. So this is one of the dining halls on campus. It's located right um, in Morgan. Mm -hmm. So if you're living in this building, you really just have to go down before you even come here in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's work, it's from under Charwell's. You can fit probably up to 1,500 students. It's a pretty big dining hall. Gotcha. Um, as someone who worked for Charwell's last school year, I can tell you staffing's really nice. It's a really like, great environment. If you guys look for on-campus jobs, it's something mm -hmm. that I would recommend. Um, mm -hmm. We have breakfast hours, or the whole thing kind of turns into like, a breakfast bar, and then there's like a sandwich cart. Mm -hmm. There's pasta that you can literally create your own pasta with, pizza mm -hmm. always, salads, things like that. And then the main course kind of changes every day. Gotcha. Any, any breakfast hacks or like food hacks that you'd um, recommend? Mm -hmm. waffles, things you love. Okay. Waffles with butter and honey oh. or waffles with butter and Nutella. You that sounds waffles good. Person. <laughs> That's really good. Gotcha. Keep that in mind. All right. Then what's uh, this room over here? All right. This is going to be the music room. So for any of you guys who like Things like drums, pianos, whatever. This is going to be your room. As you can see, we have some of the greats here up on the walls. Uh, but this is our music room. I play only one instrument in this room. <laughs> the piano. Uh -huh. But it's a, it's a great room to come in and just decompress a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially if you want to rage out on the drums. Exactly, yeah. Do you play any instruments, Henry? I used to play the euphonium in high school. Um, that's about the extent the of what? my... The euphonium, it's like a mini tuba. <laughs> um, not many people know about it. Don't sleep on the phone. Yeah. Phone gets top tier, apparently. Uh huh. All right, this is going to be the computer lab. Uh, you guys need to come in here. You can do homework, study for things. We also have a print station. So mm -hmm. if you guys go to yourart.net, you guys can submit print orders. You have about 35 ish bucks uh, to print your papers, but each paper is about 10 cents each. So mm -hmm. it's a really great time, especially if you have like papers due. You just get to run down here instead of having to go to the union or the library. Gotcha. Any questions, guys? How far would you say we are from the Union right now on foot? Um, probably about a good five minute walk. Mm -hmm. um, 
Five minutes, probably eight, eight on the slow day if you want to take in the scenery. Mm-hmm. But not too far. It's a yeah, pretty, it's a very easy walk. Pretty see. easy. It's kind of a convenient location because you have your own dining hall. You have your own computer lab. Yep. Yeah. All right. Can someone fob us in? Yeah, you can just throw them up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to take the elevator up to the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. And we may lose a little bit of connection here, y'all, when we go into the elevator. But if we do, uh, just bear with us and we'll reconnect shortly. And would you explain how the fobs work in this, in this particular hall? Like, we didn't have to use one earlier. Yes, so since this hall also has a dining hall connected to it, half the time those doors will stay open. Mm -hmm. So to actually get into your dorm, as you guys saw at the door, I had to put my fob up against a panel, mm -hmm. and that unlocks it, so no one can get into where your dorms is unless they live in those dorms. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nice. Gotcha. So what are you studying? What's your major? Uh, I'm a communication major with my minor in theater, but it's probably about to change. Uh, oh, cool. Just adding another major or minor. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for your classes or not really? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm taking a lot of good classes. I'm taking um, major censored classes next semester. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing like advanced public speaking, argumentation yeah. and advocacy, things like that. Super cool. Right, and we're getting some questions coming in. One was about, will we see the Clark Hall uh, dorms on this tour? Um, you won't see the Clark Hall's dorm like in the building, but the nice thing about the quads is all the dorms look the same. So the dorm that you're going to see is going to be identical to the dorm that you're going to have. Mm -hmm. The only difference being that accent wall. Yeah, the only difference is the wall color. Mm -hmm. And you can find those by going to housing.york.edu. And we did get some questions about dimensions, but we'll, uh, we'll talk more about those once we uh, get into the actual room. So where are we heading to uh, next on this floor? First, I'm going to show you guys kind of like a lounge space where one of our study rooms are. It's basically just a quiet room I guess to go into mm -hmm. study, as well as just like a little lounge space. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about this building is it also does connect to Clark on certain levels, which is really cool. But gotcha. you don't have to worry about getting lost because if you look at the carpet, mm -hmm. the carpet will change to orange if you're in Clark. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> so each each quad seems to have its own own yeah. color. So this is. One of the study rooms, mm -hmm. um, they're called quiet rooms in this dorm, but you can come in here and study for your finals, your exams, whatever, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Nice and cool in this room. Uh, it's yeah. great, especially yeah. with the heat outside. Yeah. This is going to be your actual lounge area, your hangout, so you got some great couches, so a table. You guys are going to be able to hook up like to the TV using an HDMI cord, so we have like Mario Kart is pretty good, big on this campus. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have a couple Mario Kart like championships going off in here, mm -hmm. watching movies, things like that, just kind of bonding as a floor, as a friend, mm -hmm. which is great. Gotcha. Who do you play when you play Mario Kart? Um, Black Luigi. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. I changed the color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So normally there's gonna be like a little kitchen area, but it's not on this floor. Mm -hmm. um, we can't take you down there today just because they're doing cleaning. Getting everything ready for you guys today, yeah. actually. But so certain floors have, have kitchens. Certain floors do have kitchens. Awesome. They're like a little kitchenette area. And they are communal, so anyone can go in. And if you want to use pots and pans, you just get those from the front desk. Cool. So I believe we're going to go see a room now. A uh, laundry room. <laughs> or laundry, laundry room first. Sorry, I was a little, got a little excited. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting door. Yeah. Do you have any advice you'd give our incoming freshmen? Any words um, of wisdom? Try new things. Don't stay in your dorm. Do uh -huh. like go to a club, try an activity. I tried LARPing when I first got here. Oh yeah. Um, just like get out of your shell. Like try new things. Become a new person, basically. Mm -hmm. Reinvent yourself. Reinvent yeah. yourself, but in the best way possible. Nice. Yeah. And before we talk about that, I'm just going through the through the questions really quick. Um, are Morgan and Clark connected, so you can get from dining hall to Clark without going outside? Yes. Um, yes. And there's actually we can show it right here. So. This is uh, Clark over here, and so as um, you guys have ever seen Pair of Kings, just think of that scene where it's like light side, dark side, light side, dark side. Yeah, so <laughs> changes color there. Um, will we see a dorm with the bigger desk? Are there different size desks in? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the uh, dorm is going to have a bigger desk. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what room you guys are going to. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Most likely, you'll have the bigger desk. There's only really just Clark and Party, and it's mm -hmm. only in select room. Yeah, that and it. Eric, do you know, is there laundry on each floor? Um, or what floors have laundry? In Morgan and Clark, it's just the fourth, well, it's this floor and then the floor below us, and then it's only one floor in each of the other two buildings. Gotcha, okay. 
Thanks. All right, on to the real star of the tour, the laundry room. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys can see, you're set up with about five washers, six dryers. Um, recently, we just implemented a new app called Speed Queen, which will help you keep track of your loads, as well as we've changed the laundry policy to not doing two washes per week, which means two washes, two dries every week with, um, I think, a set budget of like, 30-ish, but that could be mm -hmm. incorrect. And then if you exceed that, it's like a dollar plus for every Gotcha. Load. All right. But yeah. Cool. And there's a, and a nice, nice view yeah, of, of the dining right hall. There, that is Gatewood. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. And pods or, powder. Hmm? pods or powder? Liquid or powder. Okay. Liquid, okay. Uh, I mean, liquid or pods. Okay. Liquid. I was like... <laughs> With sim boosters, because sim boosters are a must. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Eric, do you know what floor laundry is on Clark? It's or it would be this one? So this is yeah, the, the, the one below us. Gotcha. So the four, fourth and third floor. Yep. All uh, right. Two and three are very hard. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, sorry about <laughs> that. Didn't mean to, right. didn't mean to, to uh, get the camera in your face. I've been waiting for my close-up. <laughs> And y'all, for those questions you've been asking about the dimensions, I'll, I'll, I'll scroll up and, uh, and answer those once we give a tour of the room. Right. Tour B419. Yeah. So this is the room that we're touring, B419. Mm -hmm. um, so the way these dorms are set up, you have two rooms down there, two rooms down here, with the bathroom on each side. We also have um, closets that you guys are going to be able to see, mm -hmm. like right here. And the, there's two, and they're located on each side. Okay. Uh, this is like your kind of living space. I guess you would consider your living room. We mm -hmm. have like a nice little shelving spot right there if you want to put like a TV, drawers, desks, things like that. Gotcha. And some of this too. We can show Our drawers. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. And you're going to draw the table. I never noticed that. Cool. There's not another side. Whoa. Oh, there you go. They really invest in drawers. All time. right. Then do we want to show the um, show the bathroom and the bedroom, and then we'll get some dimensions. We have a lot of dimensions questions coming. No in. problem. So we have his and her sinks, which is great. And then this is going to be your bathroom space. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a toilet, like every bathroom would. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then the showers. Showers. We're mm -hmm. going to get up in there a little bit in the shower. Yeah. You know, kind of what the features are. Yeah. So this is what the shower is looking like. Toilet, and so it's two typically two uh, roommates share it. Well, this thing was just on its own. <laughs> two two roommates uh, to a bathroom. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Let's see. Probably what everyone's waiting for the bedroom. Did we show right. the closet? Uh, I think we did show the closet, but I'll show okay. show it one more time. So and every, there are two on each side. Yeah. So each roommate gets a lockable closet. Yeah. 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 And I only do they get those. They also get these. Welcome to your rooms, guys. Mm -hmm. So, gotcha. for those of you guys who are asking about the bigger desk, here he is. Mm -hmm. um, quite a big desk. It's quite a big desk. Mm -hmm. As well as you guys have drawer space right underneath it. Mm -hmm. So, there are these drawers, a bit smaller, more desk like drawers. Mm -hmm. And then right behind Henry is like a little dresser area. Yeah, it's let's open this up a little bit. Yeah. It's a wardrobe, I think. Yeah, armoire. Gotcha. Fancy. fancy. Or more, that's what we call them in, in HOTS, because we're exactly. fancy like that. HOTS is fancy like that. I know, yeah. And then, so this wall over here would be a different color, depending yes. on what quad you're in. so whatever quad you're in has just different accent colors, and you're able to look that up if you go look at your specific dorm on the housing website. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you what your accent wall color is going to look like. Mm -hmm. As for these beds, um, this is where the center will be at. If you guys are like, that's a little too low, you guys can always... Have them put have maintenance put it up a little bit more, and if mm -hmm. it's at the top and you're still like that's not high enough, you just put in a maintenance request and they'll put another bed post on it and loft it some more. Gotcha. And that website would be uark.fixit, or if you Google uark maintenance request, it'll take you to the link. All right. So I'm gonna go scroll all the way top. We got a ton of questions coming in, so y'all um uh, don't worry, I will get to your questions, but we have a lot coming in, so I'm just gonna go to the top and see what the first one was. How tall are the rooms? So do you have the do you have the tape measure on you? Or oh yeah you do. Alright. So um you can just set it on the ground and then just uh we'll see how tall the room is. Alright, so looking from the bottom to the top, we have 
They're about eight feet, eight inches. Eight feet, eight inches tall. Perfect. All right. How big is the couch in the Clark room? So this should be the same. I will, will, will the couch be the same? So let's go see the dimensions of the couch. So this is the couch. And so let's say measure it from, uh, like from there. And I can put my hand yeah. up. So you got it? You got it. Yeah. There we go. It is about six feet, seven inches. Six feet, seven inches long. And then let's get the width too. Let's get the height from the back. You want to go from up here down? Yeah, actually just like right behind there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two feet nine inches. Two feet, we'll get, yeah. We'll so, like from the back to here. So two feet nine inches tall, six feet eight inches long. Well, you uh, put that one there and kind of face this. I'm just trying to get the, this dimension here. Yeah, yeah let me just take it out for you. That one's about two, ten, two feet, ten inches. Two feet, ten inches uh, wide. Gotcha. All right. So next question. Are the desks the same size in all quads? Eric, could you talk a little bit about that? If you have, this, if you have the larger desk like in there, it will be. If you have a smaller desk, I don't know the dimensions of those. Mm -hmm. Is there a smaller desk in the other room? Because that was, oh, they're all, they're all the same in this room? Yeah. If, if, it's, if it's large here, it's going to be a larger cross. Okay, gotcha. Um, and there's, there aren't, there shouldn't be any small desks in Morgan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next question we have, uh, another one that you may be able to answer, Eric, is are we able to mount TVs in the quad dorms or no? No. No. Yeah, that, that's what, I, that, that's what I, I figured, but I wanted to make, make sure. Maybe, unless you had like really strong command strips, right? Yeah. <laughs> like the, the, rule, the rule of thumb is if you do any damage to the walls, you're going to get charged for it. Yeah. If, by some sort of magic or alchemy, you can mount a television and nothing um, gets damaged. Painter's tape is pretty strong. I don't mm -hmm. think it's safe to get the dog. You done. get a lot of painter's tape <laughs> and a lot of command strips. But yeah, so the answer is no. I know that was, that was a very common question, yeah. actually. Um, good question. Yeah. yeah. Are there ice makers in Morgan? Yeah, there's an ice maker in every building. Mm -hmm. And are those in the, would those be in the laundry room? Depends? No. Uh, it depends. They, yeah. It depends on what building you're in. They move location. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Like, it, it'll be too confusing to try to explain where they are. Yeah. All right. They change location. Just ask but, your RA. Yeah, but they are, they are here. But they move around? No, oh. it's just like... Like what, what is in the kitchen, what is in the room across yeah. the kitchen, what is above? The yeah, not, not consistent. That makes yeah, sense, though. <laughs> they yeah. teleport. They yeah. have teleport here. Mm -hmm. Got wheels, you know, they have mine of their own. Right at night. But, uh... It's the grid just comes to the ice This is the new spot. Yeah. So, what are the dimensions of the shared living room? So, let's get the... Yeah, I might be able to get it. Yeah, I think you hit that green wall. Let's see. No, this is a stop for talkers. Maybe. Well, let's see if we get. Oh wait, I kind of got it. Oops. I think it's better to move over on this side. Yeah. So you've got a clear line to. Dad, yeah, this is why I'm calm either. There you go. Um, trying to get it it's like where it's not on this thing. There you go. There we go. Push the button and the number will read out. All right, we're looking at 17 feet and one inch. So 17, one inch, and then put it against this wall. And then we'll do the ceiling. And there's a lid here. Yeah. That's about 11 feet, six inches. Okay. So 11 feet, six inches wide and about 17 feet long. And then the, let's measure the and height. The height will measure from the right Got it? Eight feet. Mm -hmm. um, it's not eight feet. We got things going on. <laughs> <laughs> it is eight feet. Eight feet. Eight it's slow. Lift, it's probably. Oh no, I want to say a foot and a half. That's about a foot. So it would be a little bit shorter here. Yeah. Catch up, right, Ed? Sure. Another one, Mythbusters. That was about seven feet. Seven yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. And I assume this will be a question I was trying to scroll down to see, but maybe we should also get the dimensions uh, after this countertop. So, so right um, maybe put it right. So not the dimensions of the countertop itself, but like from the countertop to this wall. So I'm gonna go there. Here, Yeah, and then here I'll. You can shoot. Oh, you got it over there. That is about 
eleven. So eleven feet from the uh, the uh, the countertop. Okay, gotcha. Next question. Are you doing the crouch? Sorry, there's a bunch of questions coming in, but I'm trying to. How big is the window in the living room? So, I can put my hand up. Oh, you got it. You can make a make a wall. It is. Let me straighten it out a little bit. About five feet eight inches. Five feet eight inches long or wide. That out. And that was about five foot seven. Five foot seven uh, tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question is someone asked, what kind of laundry detergent did you say could be used? Uh, pods, question mark. It really anything yeah, goes. Pods are for different preferred. And they're also the easiest to use, but uh, yeah. you can use what you want to use. Really yeah. Sometimes it's really high efficiency. Yeah, gotcha. All right. What are the height and length of the accent wall and window in the common area? So, yeah, so it'd be this. We did the window, we didn't yeah, use the whole wall. But it would be eight. It would be eight feet anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be eight feet, and then I believe we said on this side. So this would include the window. Would be six feet. So. It's still eight feet. <laughs> yeah. Can no, we cannot mount TVs. Dimensions in the bathroom. Uh, what is and also what is the width of the toilet tank? That's an original question. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's start with the toilet first. That's a little bit easier. Do you need me to create a little? She's using that. Okay. Being, being efficient, using the toilet paper. Wow. Should have been an engineering maker. <laughs> All right, this toilet is about a foot and a half. Foot and a half <laughs> long, and let's see how wide it is. You got it. Oh, yeah, this toilet paper comes in handy. I think we're talking about the whole they said, they said the top? They said the toilet tank, but I feel okay. like we might as... The toilet tank would be about eight inches. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we should get the entire toilet, though? Why not, right? Why not get the whole... The whole, whole commode. Yes. Yeah. Let me that a little bit. That is about two feet five inches. Two feet five inches, okay. Um, and then oh, dimensions of the bathroom, so. Start. Still way easier to start it this way. Let's see. Alright, that's five foot seven inches. Five foot seven inches long. And then. That one is about seven feet five inches. Seven feet five inches tall, and then could you put it against here, and then or, or to it uh, against the, like towards that that wall. All right, yeah. I'm gonna. You have to say maybe. You may have to. Right. May, we may have to give Shutting you some privacy. May, may, maybe have to give you some privacy. Yes, yeah. please, come, please come back. Here. Yeah, <laughs> this is like, eager, eagerly awaiting. And the winner is. Back. <laughs> yeah. The winner is five foot five inches. Five foot five inches. Okay. What is the distance from top of the din window to the floor? From the top of the din window to the floor. So, yeah, if you may, I don't know if you can reach, can you oh, reach up to there? Oh, job the power someone who's five foot and a half. Okay. I grew up with top people, I got this one. Okay. All right, that's pretty much. Make sure the red dot is, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The floor. Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah, super tall. Um, six foot ten inches. Six foot ten inches from the top of the window down to the floor. And I'm fine. <laughs> there you go. What is the distance from the bedroom door frame to the wall where the wardrobe is? What is? These are great questions. I know. No, I know uh, a lot of people have like projects in mind. So you want to go from the door or from the wall? What is the distance from the bedroom door frame to the wall where the wardrobe is? Okay. Make sure it doesn't... No. Yeah, there we go. I think they want it to go through. We, yeah, we can say, say both. So. Alright, so from where his hand was, that's about 3 feet 11 inches. And if we're going to keep going, then that would be about 5 foot 10 inches. And this is moving yeah. furniture. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's going to vary 
like it's in this configuration. Mm -hmm. If the wardrobe is in a different location, it will yeah, yeah, it's a movable piece. So. Gotcha. All the all the stuff in here is movable. All right. Can couch cushions be replaced as long as the original cushions are put back on before move out? No, um, they're like they're built in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you could put a cover like. I know I was, we, we've actually gotten a couple of emails about this this summer, like, um, and one of the ADs respond, or one of the assistant directors responded with, you can just put, like, if you have a sheet or, like, a piece of fabric or something that you want to use and just put it over that, then that will be. Okay. That's why you put my suits on. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the more advisable, because, like I said, they're built into the, they're, they're yeah, it's a solid mm -hmm. piece of furniture. Yeah. All right, next question. Space between front of toilet and wall for bath mats. So... Maybe if you don't mind, like from the bottom, because you could technically place it below the, the bowl. That is three feet, three inches. Three feet, three inches. Perfect. Can you use monkey hooks? Mm, what's a monkey I don't hook? think have the... Christopher, maybe you know this better because you've edited it. Has those come out of the handbook yet or are they still in there? Monkey um, hooks? Yeah, I mean, in, in general, you don't want to do anything that damages the walls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the bright line. Yeah, so that's... If you damage the walls, you could potentially be charged for it. So, we do recommend command strips. Gotcha. All right. Next question is, what is the height of the space under the bed in the quads when it is raised as high as it can be without lofting it as a bunk bed? So, this is um, going to go up 35, 35 inches in its current configuration. Mm -hmm. And then you can ask uh, facilities to give you another piece that can take it up. Basically the same height. Again. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And this may be the second piece. It is. I'm not sure. It is. Mm -hmm. But uh, you do need help with that if you're going to do it. Uh, I believe it goes up to about seven feet, six feet, 70 inches, somewhere right around there. Gotcha. Um, and then you can move it between every three inches. Okay. Uh, you're going to be pretty high up there, though. So. Yeah, it's... I definitely recommend that if you're already a six-footer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would not, would not get by on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are Harding desks the big or small desks? It depends on the room you're in. So, gotcha. Um, <laughs> that, that's the best I can give you. It just comes out of what room you're in. Mm, gotcha. Okay. How much room does the cabinet have? Um, have I would... In the, in the common room? Yeah. This cabinet. So maybe... I'm trying to think of what the best way... I can measure, maybe measure the individual shelves, and then I can, I'm tall enough to reach my hand up there. This one's going to be, that way, and nine by nine. What did you say? That's uh, nine inches. Nine inches, and then could you see uh, the, uh, so all these shelves I assume are going to be the same, so let's see the length as well. Oh, the shelves are movable? Yeah, if you, you just uh, I see, gotcha. That one would be one foot 10 One foot 10 inches, and that was? That's well, from. So that's the width, and then nine inches, was that how tall it was, or how, I forget. It was how tall. Okay, and then could you do from here to there as well? So kind of the, the depth. That is 10 inches. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, you said 10 inches? Mm -hmm. All right, and then the last thing, let's see how tall, like from here. Oh, I was gonna say, well, you could so put it down, put it down here, and I can just do, do this. Two feet four inches. Two feet four inches tall. All right. So next question. It's said to use monkey hooks on. The, oh, I didn't mean to. Almost like, well, bam. Um, it's said to use monkey hooks on the website, but you are all saying command hooks. Which is better? Um, let me get back to you about that. Mm -hmm. uh, email housing. And mm -hmm. work on edu to make sure we're giving you the greatest best information mm -hmm. when it comes to that i know command strips are perfectly safe mm -hmm. uh, there was a period where we had some older facilities where we were on monkey hooks for a period of time mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind uh, just if you want to be 100 percent sure housing at work we can get that answer for you okay. um, and it can be something you got in your email as well yeah okay sorry for any conflicting information about that dimensions of the accent wall and window, I believe we already we already gave those, did we not? It, it was good. Yeah, because the ac the accent wall was um, so it's all eight feet tall and then it's six feet apart. 
Um, and then I believe the window was like four feet something. I can't remember. Um, we'll also publish. We'll also yeah. publish this um, on our YouTube channels to look back and see. Um, are there four bedrooms total? Yes. Yep. In this configuration. Yes. Can we get the dimensions uh, after the bar to the living room? I believe that was. Um, I saw that earlier. I think it was just from this bar to the living. So I think we measured that already. Are you with that one? Yeah. So I think this was like eleven feet, right? Yes. So let 11 feet from the bar and six feet wide. What are the dimensions from the counter? It said that if we want to raise the bed just enough to put the chest of drawers under, not super high lofted, can we do that ourselves with a rubber mallet? Sure. I mean, yeah, you can stop that. Yeah. And you can also, there will be mallets available to check out from the front desk. How many outlets in the bedroom and living area? So we're in the living area first. Um, One. Two. Two. Oh, that's, that's, that's six right there. Yeah. And maybe one behind the couch. Six, eight. Six, eight. Uh, ten. Twelve. Twelve. A lot of, a lot of. Yeah. Twelve in the common area. So, yeah. Twelve, twelve plugs. And then the bedroom. All right. All right, that's one. Wait, is that a... Yeah. So one, one, two. Actually, that's four. So there. Four, not that one. Okay, so. Four. Four. Six. six eight. eight. Is there one behind this bed? Yeah. Ten. Ten. So ten in the bedroom. It's always between six and twelve. Okay. Okay. Next question: Height from the countertop to under the cabinet in the living room. So right here. That is one foot six inches. One foot six inches. Okay, what's the top of the den window to the floor? I believe we recorded that, but we can check again. Six foot ten inches. Six foot ten inches, okay. Space between the front of toilet to wall for bath mat. Do you remember what that was? Uh, it was like three by three, I think. Three by three, and again, y'all, we will be publishing this on our YouTube channel to, to check again. Does each room control their own AC? No. The, uh, the AC is in the living room, so um, uh, there's, there's only one. Uh, do roommates share an AC? We've already answered that. Does uh, Clark Hall does Clark Hall have smaller or bigger desks? Depends on their. Gotcha. Clark and Harding are they're going to be Clark Harding and Gabler are going to be depends on the room you're in. Okay. You were asking about monkey hooks. Yes to monkey hooks in this hall. Okay. Gotcha. Yes to monkey hooks in the quad area. Okay. Still not full time. <laughs> a little. I don't know the best way to explain it, but they. Like a hook that goes into the hole, mm -hmm. and when you pull it out, in theory, it leaves like a little bit of a hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what from the air commensurate? <laughs> <laughs> what is the measurement from the door frame to the wardrobe with the wardrobe open? Um, so I. So let's open this. So I assume let's try and get it like. To like the edge of edge of here. Do you want to go to the door or do you want to close the door? Um, the door. to the door frame. Because I'm guessing they want to see what's the space in between here. Maybe they can put some furniture there. <clears throat> All right, that is going to be two feet five inches for you. Two feet five inches. Gotcha. All right. Website said to only use monkey hooks and Morgan, so we just talked about that. Um, monkey hooks put a small hole in the wall, so you were saying yes, they are acceptable only in Morgan. Well, no, the quad. Uh, only, in the, only in the, in the quad. maples as well. And the, the maples, gotcha. What the website says is accurate. <clears throat> okay. When it now acts, I'll do it. Movein.uart.edu has accurate information about it. Gotcha. All right. How many outlets in the bedroom and common area? So for the bedroom, we said 10, and for the common area, we said 12. Mm -hmm. What is the width of the living room TV stand? So this, um, so it's this piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. right? Um, go ahead and put it on the top, actually. I'm going to need a hand up lock. 
once I find you. All right, that's about four feet. Four, four feet. I think they were the width as in, like, that dimension there. Oh, yeah, because that was the length. My bad. <laughs> it's been, been a while since I've been in geometry. Oh, God, sophomore year of high school? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Two feet. I took geometry in my freshman year. It's also two feet high, because we measured it. Yes, <clears throat> that's right. Um, you are excited by monkey because you already answered that. What is the width of the dresser in the bedroom? To the bedroom. To uh, the the dresser. Okay. So. I mean, if you can put, we can help you pull out if you have to. This would be considered the dresser, right? Yeah. 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 You got enough room there to make the width. Three feet. Three feet, and then, well, and then this as well. About a foot ten inches. Three feet by a foot ten inches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. Measurements of the cutout and the bar, please. And then while we're asking that, someone said, "Is this video? Is this live video recorded?" Yes, it is. We'll be sure to upload it to our YouTube channel. Wait, you want those measurements of the bar. So. Start over there, and we'll just get it to the highest point. Um, well, the highest point is one hundred eighty-seven. Oh, wait, so like five by ten. Five, five foot ten. Five foot ten long. Let's do the width. Two feet. Two feet. All right. Dimensions of the hall closets, please. Mm, did we lock those up? Or those all? Uh, I, oh, I did lock them up. I mean, get them oh, up. no. Not on a live TV. We got it makes me nervous. Oh, no. Guys, we're having technical difficulties. You guys, y'all can talk about banter. 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 Oh. Whoa. Oh, we, well, we have. Let's talk about we A-Week, have, guys. Oh, so, you want to talk about A-Week? Okay. All right. So A-Week is going to be that first week you come on campus right before classes. That's probably when campus is going to be its busiest with activities. There's will be something we do every day, every hour, whether that's having your RAs host something in the dorms. I know I used to live in Gibson, and we had like a movie night. Someone like opened up all the rooms. Everyone from the door open. They're like, come in, come do this. We did like New Girl and Popcorn. And then for the school itself, they took us for like our individual like buildings. So I'm in the College of Fulbright. We went and toured like where most of our classes are going to be. Um, I think what else did we do? There was like a Cardinal Knights that last night that was really fun. Um, union hangouts. There's also like for any of you guys who are first generation or who identify as African American, Indigenous, things like that, they hold those socials and those are actually posted. If you go to UARC MC, the Multicultural Center, they put all that information out for you. And we could, it's honestly really great. It's where I met my first friend group, like literally my first day. I think I came like the second day of the week and we were in several all throughout first semester. Mm -hmm. So, it's awesome. fun. Did you go to Chocolate Wasted? I did not. Okay. Did you go to wow. Taste of Bagel? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're missing like the big, the key ones. I was yeah. like, I can do that or I can stay in bed. Yeah. Sure. But no, 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 do not stay in bed. Go mm -hmm. do things. It's yeah. honestly, it's really great. Also, mm -hmm. one thing that they did, which was really great, this is not A-week related, but I want to bring up this actually one of my favorite campus memories was during finals, they brought dogs. Oh. And in the union, there were puppies. And they were great, and they were adorable, and they were like the absolute best way to de-stress during finals. Mm, big stress relief. But it's not something we had with masseuse as well, which is really cool. Man, I wish we had that. Puppies, masseuses. Puppies and masseuses, guys. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So I think last we question get, was the. Get it open. Okay, yeah, dimensions open. of the hall closets. All right. Oh, perfect height. So well, there we go from the door, just from this door. Uh yeah, let's go, let's go to the door. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll sh He's shut you. In. Partially shut you in there. Coraline. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> two feet three inches. Two feet three inches uh, uh, depth and here. Then, yeah. Hopefully just shelving to ceiling. Yeah. That's about a foot and eleven inches. So a foot and eleven inches, and then you could put it from the top of here down to the ground. Sorry, that's all stuck in my head. All right, this is gonna be five foot five inches. So five foot, five foot five inches yeah, that's plus the top down. So that basically be about like seven seven feet four yeah. inches. And I can check just to be sure. Yeah. All right, so 
Definitely. Also, everyone thank Lana for um, measuring all this. <laughs> she's, she's, this is this is a workout. Oh, and then also, could you measure how uh, how wide it is as well? You guys, yeah. this is my workout for the day. Mm -hmm. Some people will go on the elliptical. I do measurements. Mm -hmm. Strengthens the brain and the body. Yeah. Three foot six inches. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, okay, we already talked about how many electrical outlets. Is there housekeeping at all? Do you want to talk about that? Um, a so bit? we have a cleaning staff that normally comes in Monday through uh, Friday, and they're not going to clean your personal rooms. They do go out and they clean like the halls, the lounge mm -hmm. areas, sometimes the kitchens, um, as well as like your laundry room. But for your room and like your spaces, that's going to be up to you and your roommates. To clean. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, where are the outlets in the bedrooms? So the, they were kind of on every wall. There was I believe there so was two, one, yeah, it's like a two, four. two here, mm -hmm. or yeah, like so it's like four. A four outlet one. Yeah, so four there. One. There's another one there. One behind the bed. And then one there, and then one behind the bed. So plenty of plenty of outlets. You will not go outlets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would a fridge that is 33, 33 inches tall? I almost said thirty three feet. <laughs> um, fit under the bed if it is raised, but not lofted all the way. 33 inches. That's a math question right there. So, 30, 33 inches, so. That is about, what, 35? I'd have to measure. You're talking about underneath the desk. No, they're asking, like, if they loft their bed, but not super high, oh, that they fit. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. 36 yeah. is, 35 is the maximum so what in I would, the current configuration. What I would suggest you to do is just lay your bed, like, all the way to, like, the top of here if you don't want it super high. That's only going to keep to my hip, so it's not a big height yeah. at all. And then you can put your fridge under there and connect it to the outlets. Yeah. So you could you could fit it. Um, with, Definitely not where it is right now. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But um, you could fit it. Um, it it kind of be like a tight squeeze, show especially with this bar. Maybe, yeah. Maybe so, show them the yeah, grooves, yeah. That'll give them a better sense. So of each of these, I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. There we go. So there's, like, these little notches right here. Um, and you'll use a mallet to, like, raise the bed onto there. Um, but so this goes up to 35 inches. Um, mm -hmm. there may be a little bit of trouble with this bar. Um, but you can maybe like yeah. slide it under. Um, but yes, it, it could fit. You just have to do some. Yes. Yeah. We should say that if you're building based on the exact inches that we're telling you, mm -hmm. you might be disappointed. Yeah. Everything we're giving you is probably plus or minus a couple inches. Mm -hmm. To be absolutely safe, what I personally would suggest is just taking this and putting it up and just raise it like one higher. Yeah. Because yeah. that way it's still not super 40, tall. 40, 45 inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna, like, you're going to know it's going to fit. Because you can do every three inch, every three inch intervals there. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right. Width of the chair in the common room. Even this chair. I was going to be like, well, let's <laughs> figure that one out. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting one. The chair? Oh, that chair. I was like, huh, I was trying to figure out what, what chair. All right. So. All right, guys. Permit. You got it. Oh, coming through in the clutch right there. there are. That is three feet. Three. Exact. So three feet uh, wide, and so maybe from the. Uh, Are what, from down there? Uh, definitely from the, the highest high point. The, the highest point. So. See how easy that is for you guys. We did, we did this, oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, so, and then. Interior there. Yeah. So, That's, this one's going to be about two feet. Yeah. And so, then. the cushion area. That's yeah. And so, then, let's do the, like, measure from the back of here. Let's go to the highest point, which would be right, right there. I love that one. Right there we go. Teamwork. Yeah. Dreamwork. There we go. And then you will make sure... Um, two, ten, two feet, ten inches. So two feet, ten inches tall, and then um, you just shoot the, the laser at me to see that. I'm going to do it from right here. Gotcha. So how That's tall is that? Two feet, six inches? Two feet, six inches. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, would that be width? Uh, width? Uh, yeah. 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 Liberal arts <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're talking, I guess, that could be length, mm -hmm. height, and that could be depth. Okay. Yeah. And one thing I want to point out, just about like water by the window, is this view right here is actually pretty sick. And if you yeah. look right there, that's how tall. That's your honors college. Yeah. That's yeah. your honors dorm. Honors Sorry, dorm. honors yeah. dorm. And then to the right um, is, is a parking garage, Garland parking garage. That's your Garland parking garage, and also the bookstores right there. Um, mm -hmm. what we like to call Small Mart, which is like a small Walmart, it's right there. And then this will be your quads parking lot. Gotcha. So any guys who got that resident reserve, that's probably gonna be it. All right. Where is the internet and cable outlets and bedroom? So everything's wireless when it comes to the internet. There's mm -hmm. a, and then the cable is going to be on those boxes. Yeah. yeah. There's cable there. So 
cable. You do have um, cable when you live here. Mm -hmm. um, you find that some students use it, some don't. But you do have Cox Hunt for All Campus, which is an app that lets you watch TV through your mobile devices. Mm -hmm. so. I'll have gotcha. someone on my desk about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do something to pass the time. Cox right. Hunt for All Campus? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad app. It's actually quite, not quite nice. I just go Cox Store like, Cox <clears> and right. just follow the link from like this. Closure so on campus, you can watch it for free. HBOs, you get several HBOs. What's your favorite HBO show? Are you on the spot? Gosh, like, what have I been watching recently? <gasps> um, give me a second, because we're watching something not too long ago. I like Euphoria. There we go. What? I like now, Euphoria. Now you're with all the kids. It's Euphoria, then you got to check out. It's like, I'm going to give you something to direct something. But I'm back at Westworld again, because it's back. I haven't again. seen it yet. Season mm -hmm. four. It's, it's all right. Okay. Great. That's wet. Uh, the Harley Quinn series. <laughs> okay. The Harley Quinn animated series is really good. Young right. Justice. Yeah. Um, All the cool they're they're tuning in for our recommendations on stream shows. Teen Titans. If you guys ever need like TV and movie recs, I'm your girl. Come there you go. Nice. <laughs> uh, next question. Will a fridge that is 33 inches fit underneath the desk? So let's see uh, how. Is this? Oh, it would? Oh, yeah. Eric said yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it would fit under the middle, it would fit under the desk. Oh, yeah. Just this saying, is our gamer desk right here. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, big, big, long desk. Mm -hmm. um, this one. Which. Which halls has a smaller desk? Again, that just depends on the room. Um, what's the height from the top of the desk to the floor? Um, so. Why don't I just be go from, from the, the bed? Go from the top if you yeah. don't mind. Try to get it right on that plane. That is about two feet, ten inches. Two feet, ten inches, okay. Is there any way to find out if you have a small desk or a regular desk in your room? Contact housing, maybe? Mm hmm. Your, uh, yeah, your best bet is to um, email housing at york.edu and we can see what we can do okay. for you. It's not something, I don't think it's a list that we maintain, but mm -hmm. we can do what we can do. Gotcha. Also, let's say that's maybe watching some of the older tours. Mm -hmm. They might go. They yeah, might that's smart. Yeah. All right. Next question is, what's the distance between the desk and the bed? So... Or maybe you, maybe you want to do it from right here. I can also. Oh, you want to do it from here? To yeah, so thi okay. this space right here. Yeah. I was going for the wall. Like, no, no, no. Absolutely. Two feet, six inches. Two feet, six inches is kind of the space between your your uh, bed and your desk. Will a mini fridge fit in the bar cutout? Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. That's yeah. what the bar cutout's for. Yeah. <laughs> What's the. Uh, Oh, I've never even noticed that. Yeah, I just, did you not I, notice that? No, I completely, I, yeah. I've never lived in a suite style uh, door, so. Me yeah. neither. What's the distance between the end of the bed to the wall? That's um, my, this is my cardio workout. Yeah, yeah we're just going back and forth. The end of the bed. So, do you so, want to push it back or just take it to where it is right now? Um, I'm kind of. Just because you got to look at the space right here. Yeah, th this space, yeah, that's what I, I assume, okay. so yeah. Mm. Three feet, five inches. Three feet, five inches, gotcha. And again, there is this, mm -hmm. this in the way, but again, all this is, is movable. Yeah, so you can like, totally decide, hey, I kind of want that sense of hmm. like Do all four share that one closet? No, oh, everyone <laughs> everyone gets their own closet, so. Yes, yes. So, so, uh, so that each. Room will go to that one, mm -hmm. this room will go to this one. Yeah. You and, there, confused, there's yeah. Letters. and there there's labels up there to see um who who's uh yeah. who is who is which one. But um yes, yeah, so every, everyone has their own closet. Will the students have two keys, one for the main door to the unit and one for their private room? Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. they will. And they will also have a fob to get into the building. That fob is clutch. Yeah. Are the rooms clean prior to move-in day, or do we need to plan on cleaning before moving stuff in? No, they clean. Rooms are yeah. cleaned. We we made sure to Shout do that to thing. Isaac. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, thanks for all the measuring. Thank you. You're welcome. Sure. We want ten more minutes. Ten, sure. Yeah, ten more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna let me see how many more questions we have. Oh, only like four more. All right. <laughs> well, only four more, and then everyone's gonna like and start flooding in and be like, "Oh no, we have ten more minutes." Yeah. All right. What is the distance from the bedroom window wall to the edge of the door when open? So, the distance, so, well, they said when the door is open, so I assume it's going to be right here. Oof. Oh, there we go. That was perfect, guys. I'm really proud of myself for that one. That's eight feet one inches. Eight feet, eight feet one inch. Mm -hmm. uh, so, from there to when from the door is open. 
Um, and then I guess we might as well, might as well just see, uh, like, or here, you know, maybe easy is if I do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. This is a lot of sony questions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 feet 9 inches. 10 feet 9 inches, so just in total like from... that Vanity Fair interview it's like, come ask me 25 yeah. inches miles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can the couch cushions be replaced? No, they cannot. Does the entire suite have its own Wi-Fi, or is it every room? Every room. Every room. It's all, there's those things in every room. Okay, gotcha. I think that's a rally, maybe? Yeah. It's a wild side. Did you say 36 inches is the highest point for the bed? So this is 35 inches, um, but it can go up to six feet if you put in a request in, right? Yeah, if you get the second piece attached, it doubles. Yeah, so you can attach. 35 is the, 35 or 36 is the highest. Yeah, so 35 is, is the, the default. Mm -hmm. It's closing the phone, just like your tape. I know, it's, it's really, really weird. Will the dresser fit in the closet? In? In the closet. I'm mean, assuming we got the room. You said yes. It could you want it to. Yeah. It could. Ooh, yeah. If you Yeah, so so yes it could. I don't know why in my mind it was like, can that fit in that? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, what's that? They're talking about that. Yeah. Right yeah. Is there a is there a cable box in the bedroom? Uh no. There's there's not a cable box in the bedroom, right? The, the only cable box is out there? Uh unless it's Cause, back here. Because this is just, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Henry, false information. Oh, that's my bad. I did not know that. Man, well, <laughs> sweet dorms are so fancy. These are so nice. All right. This is the last question we have so far. If we loft the bed some above the 36 inches, will there be posts that stick up if it is not the whole 72 inches high? Yes. yes. Yeah, you're basically going to take this and put this on top of this. You're not going to do it. We're going to do it for you because so, it has to be secure. Mm -hmm. But... So think about that and those things and one on top of the other. But if you don't want to look at it, throw a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think that um, we somehow managed to get through all the questions. Oh, uh, no. Don't want to ask uh, Your one pick, correct? Or pick, pick one. one. Your pick one. There you pick go. Pick one. Pick one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what that is. Um, yeah. Basically, we need to encourage you to pick one school activity, whether that's um, volunteer in action. We have people who help put together like the events on campus, things like that. Uh, you guys are pro probably, if you haven't yet, you'll get an email concerning those that will talk to you about things like that. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, A Week is a great way to get connected on campus, which is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to plug in my own stuff because I'm like so good to be like, all right, see Oh, yeah, boss. that way you can do whatever you want. <laughs> But yeah, pick one is definitely, and you can learn more about pick one by going to pickone.york.edu and seeing all the different organizations you can join. And we did just get two questions in. Can you loft slash adjust the bed by yourself or does someone have to do it for you? You, you can do it by yourself, you know what you're doing. You just need a soft mallet, knock yes. it up, and then put it in the mm -hmm. bed close and then knock it up. Yeah, so if you want to do it yourself, more power to you. But if you don't, uh, like I said before, the maintenance request, you are not fix it. Just put it in, like, what's more done, it will, mm -hmm. nobody get that as soon as they can. Well, this hall in particular, though, you cannot go above 30, 35 inches unless you submit a fix-it request. Okay. This is one of those that the furniture is such that you can't go all the way up. Okay. I know someone who, like, had their bed all the way high in one of the dorms. I was like, how did you get up there? Mm -hmm. We'll do that for you. You next, just submit your yeah. request. So next question, uh, we have two more. I, I know I lied they're before. They're flooded in, they're like. I know, yeah, they're like, we got it, we got it, have run out of time. What type of extension cords are preferred? Website states they copy search protectors. Do you happen to know? Sorry, what was the question? What type of extension cords are preferred? Website says, states that they cannot be search protectors. They should be search protectors. Yeah. Like, yeah, go by whatever the website says, but you know, you do want, you know, the highest quality you can buy so they don't mm -hmm. catch fire. Yeah. Uh, but whatever the website says would be accurate. Okay. If uncertain about lofting, can you ask for the tools to be in your room at move in and loft on your own? Uh, not, no, but you can go to the front desk and get like a soft mallet. Yeah, so you, they, won't be, uh, they won't be in your room uh, when you come, but you can definitely um, it has ask to the front desk. It's like leaving mallets in your room. And, and don't feel like uh, if you arrive on campus and the bed isn't the way you like it, it's okay, you can still submit a, a fix it request. Mm -hmm. And they'll come and they'll fix it pretty timely, within a week or two. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, when everybody first gets to campus, there's a huge rush Everyone's of things. So, yeah. uh, it's nice, if you can submit it by the end of the month, it'll be done before you arrive. But feel free to live in your room for a week or two and figure out what works best for you. 
right. Larry's pretty yeah. quick about it. Yeah. yeah. And with that said, we have gotten up to all of our questions. So, <gasps> yeah. great question. I know. Yeah. This is my last live of the week. I got two more next week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, um, thank you all for the questions, and thank uh, thank you, Lana, for answering, helping answer all of them and measure everything. Thank you, Henry, for filming. Of course. Yeah. And so. Of course, um, Eric for being here. Yeah. Just thank you all of you guys. Yeah. All right. Just all right. a good day to be alive. It's a great day. It's hot, but you know. <laughs> yeah. It's but yeah. That. Yeah. You can go ahead and, and sign us out. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, my name is Amana. This has been the Northwest Quads uh, Live. And if you have any more questions, just feel free to contact Housing or watch the video. Awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys.